Lopez. They take it back into Eels territory through Simmons. Comes to Lachlan Cooch. Fends away there from Ben Smith. There's a real chance on the right edge for Parramatta. Here's West. He'll be stopped about 30 metres away from the Parramatta line. Kingston goes across the Walsh. Easy pass there to handle. Play it through Tim Grant. Still about 25 metres away. So Rado again with the pass. And Sando. He comes up with it. And on that occasion, so Rado passing as often as he is at first receiver in those plays inside Parramatta territory. The defence holding off Serraldo knew where the ball was going. Yeah, and when you pass short, it has to be out in front. You can't afford to have it going in behind. And that's a cheap turnover by the Penrith team. From Allwood carrying the ball forward. That's a strong run. They need to do more of that, Parramatta, and support one another. Here's Heinmark. Captain goes back across the halfway line, plays it here to Keating, Sando. And pass for the moment. He's put the foot down and taken them on himself as yet. Keating's kick, just a grubbering behind the line. He comfortably handled by Lachlan Coots. He brings it back about 15 out from his own line. Again, not a great kick from Parramatta, who's back end of their sets of six. It left a bit to be desired. Moy Moy trying to... Get physical there with David Simmons. He goes to ground by Selly. Coming in for a carry. Always a handful. Strong and nuggety he is. Well, then he played it completely squarely there, but perhaps gets away with one. And work it up through Chris Armit. He's also out there now, replacing Tim Grant, who's just gone from the field at the half-hour mark or thereabouts. Well, Dane Weston. Hand in. Hand in. Hand in. Hand in. I'm going it. to say it was stripped out here wow. by Fui Fui Moi Moi. Michael. Nathan Hindmarsh is going to get a, a chat here. Going to ground. Well, I thought he was trying to offload that. Knock That's it out, what it mate. looked like first time around, and I was waiting just to make sure. Well, that our wires two penalties ago, OK. Something. I spoke about the penalty count going against your side. You had two more in the quick succession since then. I'm not going to go 80 minutes play like this. Oh, yeah, I understand. But listen, mate. You can't help with stuff like that. He's going to put his foot. I'm not talking about that one isolated. I'm talking about across the board. All right? No more. You've got to get into him. You get into him. Nathan Hindmarsh in running, having a bit to say about the flow of penalties, which is 6 1 against Parramatta. The lower hard done by there. Very. The lower hard done by. No question about that. It does mean, though, that Penrith come on the attack. Well, for the most part, have done a good job defending these penalty sets that Penrith have had. Defend the number one here. Ryan Simpkins is out there, and now a ball goes to ground. It's Wesson again who has it, running into Moy Moy, who was mobbed by his teammates. With congratulations. Well, he just had eyes only for Weston there, Fooey. He hits him high, he forces the ball loose, and that's great intensity. Defensively, they've been strong tonight, Parramatta. Their completion rate has been good. They haven't had a lot of ball, but it's their execution and their option taking. You know, when they have the ball, they go through the motions and they go through their plays that they've called, but they don't react to what the defence is doing. That needs to improve. Another chance, and wasted 23 tackles they've had inside the Eels 20. The Panthers have had just two at the other end. A massive discrepancy in a particular category. Peter. We'll play it here for Hindmarsh. Goes across to Ryan. There's a real fixture now on that left hand side in the back row and got away to Hindmarsh. It was now from behind. Oh, Harry Sarko, now Morgan going towards Daniela, who will wrap him up. About 35 away on the last tackle. Hindmarsh is going to get caught. Needs to get it away. He does miraculously. And he got it to Kelly, who puts a kick in, and that's a much better result than it was going to be when Hindmarsh looked as though he was going to get nabbed. And now here is Sando with one of those 
shoulder charge attempts on the oh. kick chase. And that's another example of a poor option. Late in the tackle count. Getting caught a dummy half. They eventually got the kick, but it could have been planned and constructed a lot better. The halves need to take responsibility for that. And they really have struggled as we get downstairs to Adam McDougall on the sideline. Just somebody needs to uh, put up their hand and take control of those last few plays, don't they? They certainly do, and the percentage play tonight, given the heavy jaw on the ground, he's definitely put the ball on the ground, it will run. It's going to be an interesting battle here tonight. I think Penrith have come prepared. The guys, if you look on your TV screen tonight, are wearing the long studs. The Parramatta players, on the other hand, are wearing the high. So, and on the Jennings front, in the battle out here, it's going to be very interesting to see that uh, Jennings is stepping inside, given the fact that um, it's slippery and obviously Chase Blair's not really expecting him to do so. The difference in the stunts, perhaps, of these two sides. Oh, the Luke Lewis wasn't apologising to wife and Curry when he put his hand up. He put his hand up as if he'd made a ton at the SCG in an Ashes test. He, he basically went to all points of the ground to say, I'm sorry, that was a, a shocking pass. I'm sure he was waving to wife and Curry saying, sorry, mate. Well, after an error, it's the way you react and what your next action is. And I'm sure Luke Lewis will be looking to be strong in defence here. But this will help Parramatta's course. They get a penalty. There he is, Luke, just saluting. Saluting, there he is. All parts of the ground. Yeah, yeah. More so for a 50. I think it's a half time. It's not a touch. <laughs> right. <laughs> Sorry, guys. My bad. He's Here's Moy Moy. He'll play it just outside the Panthers 20 metre line. Keating from Dummy Hunt. Going across to the left hand side into a. Bit of a gap there with Joseph Paulo fresh on the paddock. Gets an offload away to Ryan, who puts a step on, tries to get away from Kingston. Gets another offload away. Now here is Sando. He gives it to Moy Moy. You know what he's going to do. He's going to stand and give it to somebody else. He was going to say, Here I am, stop me if you can. Talking about something there from Weston in the tackle. He regained his feet. Now Sando holding it up. Smith popping a ball. Sando was wrapping around. Couldn't come up with it. Well, he didn't need to make that play, Ben Smith, but it was also great work, the pass from Chris Sando. He goes to the line, and there was a defender, I think it was Jennings, came out of the line, and it opened it up for a one-on-one -on -one situation for Ben Smith. He forced his way through the line, was looking to get the offload away. There was no one pushing up in support, but it was better. Yeah. Thomas running, boys. But Chrissy Sando, we've been saying it all year, he needs to get his hands on the ball and he needs to challenge the line a lot more. He's got to create uncertainty in the, in the defence. You've got to bind and you've got to touch. You're, like, you're not. You no, know, he's got great speed and got good footwork, but we just haven't seen it from him enough. Come on, Kevin. Kevin. No question about that. 2012. Panthers win the scrum and they'll work it forward there through Wyselli who will probably with an early carry and a set from their own end. Now Serraldo, no tip on play. Up towards the 40 metre line, West and hit by an avalanche of blue and gold jumpers right there. Here's Arnott. Good run on the step at the line to force a legs tackle from Keating. To go from Kingston. While sticking from just on top of the 40 metre line, Hayna Crossville. And a nice catch. His positioning at the back has been good so far tonight. Saved a couple of tricky situations, and now his work on the ground forces a penalty, and the penalty count evening itself up, standing at 6 3 at the moment. Still Penrith's favour. And they're starting to invite Parramatta back into this game. Well, they're only six points in front, Penrith. They've been slack with their discipline, giving away all the way here, Penrith. Some penalties, giving away cheap possession. Go. And here they come through Fui. Ryan Simpkins went low. Weston was over the top on Moy Moy. Now all good. He works it down to play it 30 metres away. On the Penrith line, they've had their chances. Still nothing on the scoreboard for the visitors here tonight. Paulo to play it inside the Eels red zone. 
Rose Kelly, who's picked up and dumped heavily there. Walsh was involved, and so was Cameron Zeraldo. Just over three minutes remaining, time running out in this first half of Parramatta. Hayne goes to Sando, wide. Sio had a chance, one-on-one -on -one there with Simmons. And again, Parramatta put it down. He would have been hard to stop from there, Kenny Sio, if he controlled that ball. He had David Simmons turn inside out. Enterprising play from Parramatta, shifting the ball to their right edge. Simpkins plays it for Penrith, and now Simmons gets a carry and does well to poke his nose through the line there as well before being grabbed by Keating and Moy Moy. Now Lachlan Coot lofting one from inside the 40. Plenty of depth on the kick, and Hayne will go all the way back to the corner to pick it up. Slightly more angle on that kick, and it was easily going to be a 40-20. Well, that was a better kick and a better constructed kick, given that Lachlan Coote got it left side of the ruck. He's a left foot kicker. Their previous kick was a poor one with a right foot kicker and Luke Walsh trying to be too cute with the with the kick. They have the breeze out their back in this first half. Penrith for the remaining two minutes of it. Their kicking game has been much better than it was a couple of weeks ago here against the Warriors. As Paulo gets a chance, they keep it alive. Morgan beats a tackle. Comes to Coop, went past the fullback. Daniela can't get him also. And Morgan, a terrific run down the sideline. And Parramatta are on the board finally here tonight. And they're starting to create some offloads in their attack, Parramatta. They're not known as an offloading side. They average eight per game already tonight in this first half. They're up to seven. He's made a bit of a difference since being on the field, Paulo. He's a ball-playing back rower. He was heavily involved in this try, and great work from young Ryan Morgan. The in and away on Lachlan Coote, and then he burns off Daniela. Look at that, Paulo. Attracting defenders, staying alive. Good effort there from young Ryan Morgan in some space the in and away on Lachlan Coote he burns off Daniela and Parramatta through perseverance not conceding points when Penrith had the opportunities in the opening 40 minutes of this game they were camped at times inside Parramatta's 20 metre zone but they refused to budge they only conceded six points if Luke Burt can convert this going into half time, they'd be extremely happy with the way they have performed in the opening 40 minutes. Luke Burt this year, kicking at 91%. He's kicked 20 of 22, combined with Chris Sando, who's kicked 14 of 16. They've only missed four goals all year. The Eels and Luke Burt backs the good form up with a kick. And a conversion to make it six points all with barely a couple of seconds remaining in this first half. That will do us and the Parramatta fans, the long-suffering Eels fans, have something to cheer about going to the sheds at the break. At Cinebet Stadium, it's 